What is up you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are going to head to the Goodwill Bins looking to buy some more stuff to put towards our $20 house flip that we're trying to complete here pretty shortly, but I do have a couple of important updates to share with you guys about the budget before we get started. So in the last episode of the $20 house flip, we left off with $4,923.44 in the budget and in the last video we posted on the channel a couple days ago we went thrifting bought some cool stuff we actually sold some of that stuff in that same video but i forgot to put those numbers into the house flip budget so we spent 94 dollars 18 in the last video but we sold some stuff made all that money back and ended up with a total profit in that video of 35.99 so 4923.44 plus $35.99 in profit. profit from that thrift trip brings our new house budget to $4,959.43. So you still with me? Focus, focus. Here we got this. And believe it or not, we actually have some eBay sales to share with you guys today that's part of the house budget as well. So if you guys remember, maybe like four videos ago, we went to the Goodwill bin, same as we're going to do in today's video, and we found a bunch of plush, as always. But this plush in particular was pretty special. This was a Cheese plush. The character's name was Cheese, and he was from the Cartoon Network show called Foster's home for imaginary friends. I think that's what it's called. But either way, this was a super rare plush and actually sold on eBay for $70 plus shipping and actually sold to a viewer, I think. Brandon from Middlesex, New Jersey. So Brandon, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. That was actually a good deal on that plush. There was multiple that were sold higher than that and one listed for like 200 bucks. So that was actually worth a good amount of money. The second eBay sale of the day is the Cutco knife from our very last upload. If you guys remember, we found that in the Goodwill glass case and they only wanted $4.99 for it, which was a steal of a deal. We we ended up selling that to our good friend Amy. She is a longtime supporter of us. She buys from eBay on us from us on eBay and whatnot all the time. Uh, and she was interested in that knife. So she bought it from our eBay store for $85 plus shipping. Gave her a little bit of a discount there. It's probably worth closer to a hundred or so. Number three, we sold the LL Bean jacket from our last upload as well. We paid, it was 12, I think it was $12 at Plato's Closet, but we had a $5 off coupon. So it was $7 and 49 cents. And that sold on eBay for $45 plus shipping. We also sold those Adidas Ultra Boost running shoes that Haley found in our last upload. We paid $6.50 for those and they sold for $25 plus shipping. And then finally, two more eBay sales, but it's the same item. We finally got around to listing that cold sore medication that we found at the bins like a month ago. We listed it as a lot of five and like a multiple quantity and we've sold two of those lots of five so far. The first one sold for $32.99 plus shipping and the second one we sent an offer of $29 plus shipping and that one sold today. So after all that said and done, that's $286.99 in total sales. After eBay fees, about $251.11, bringing our new total to $5,210.54. However, one final update before we get into the Goodwill Bids footage today, we also went to the Home Depot uh, a couple days ago and bought the flooring for the flip house uh, and a couple other small things. Total spent was $582.81, which brings our house budget total now to $4,627.73. Let's get into the Goodwill bins. Okay, you guys, I have a new bag today. It's a Hulkin bag, courtesy of our friend Mimi. I'm excited to use this. It has wheels. I just have our regular bag. <laughs> All right. Uh, that hat. Got some fitted hats here. Very familiar. Yeah. Let's see, he's got his arms and two legs. And Simba. This guy, he's cute. Beer Bradley. This other Beer Bradley. I will grab all the Beer Bradleys here since they'll be so cheap. Good morning, how are you? Oh, good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Houston Rockets. This is cool. 
leather briefcase. That's some weird. I've never sold it, I'm not sure. I usually just pass. Virginia Mother. Lots of hats today. Clemson. Every team today. Oh, that's cool. Look at how tall it is. This is at Pro Belt, Man USA. Oh, this looks, this looks good. Old Ford hat. This cute little purse. Wicker basket purse. Also some shoes. There we go. Some Air Force Ones. These are super clean. New Attacks jeans, Wrangler boot cut. American Eagle jeans in style. This is new with tags. Urban Outfitters. More American Eagle jeans. This whole bag. This whole bag is good. More American Eagle jeans. BDG. These are Urban Outfitter jeans. Paper crane. Urban Outfitter shorts. We don't really buy clothes a lot, but this is just one of those days where it's good stuff. Some Nike, Nike joggers. It's nice. Got an REI backpack here. It's like a knapsack. No way, that is so nostalgic. Wizards of Blair Village Place. I used to watch that show so much. Blackhawk. Little Blackhawk. Blackhawk. Handy pack type bag, I guess. I don't need the cute one. <gasps> that is cute. I've never seen that pattern. You don't want it? No. Okay. I do a lot of them, but yeah. I sit on them a lot. That's adorable. Thank you. I'll, I'll definitely grab it. that. Check this out. Got a Lululemon hoodie. And it's got the big, like, Lulu on the front. Zipper works. Yeah, that's nice. I think it's a size six, and it still has the tags. That's super cool. Huge Lulu lemon hood on the on the hood. That's awesome. It's probably like a forty fifty dollar hoodie right there. It's a cool jacket. Haven Viv two X, like a little. Haven Viv is not a very good brand, but I mean it's not terrible. I think it's sold at Target maybe, but this is kind of cool, like tactical jacket. And it's a good size, two X. I'm gonna grab that. It's a bagalini. Definitely gonna grab that. Really clean inside too. Shout out Jackie from Walmart. <laughs> These are cute. I'll grab those. Come over here at the back. I found this Hartman, but I'm gonna pass on it because the zipper is being pulled off. When I moved the Hartman by the way, I found this to me bag. Looks to be in good shape. He's got some pins in there. He's got the Toomey logo. It doesn't have the, the shoulder strap, but it does have this and a little BMW t shirt. It's nice. Yeah, definitely get this. This is probably like a, I don't know, $40 to $50 bag. Maybe a little bit more if it had the, if it had the Toomey strap. It's got this little metal box here. It's got some people with like horse, horse hunting. They're like using dogs and horses. It's a metal box at the bottom. It has a little dent in the bottom, but it does say made in Japan, which means it's probably fairly old. Inside looks pretty good. It's got a wooden inlay. There's a little crack in the bottom where the dent is. So the dent went through the bottom and then up through the wood, but still think I'm gonna get it. Kind of a cool little box. Another little dent in the back there. Okay, I just found this bag, the Phantom of the Opera. I think a lot of people, I've never seen it or anything, but I think a lot of people are really, really into this. So I'm gonna grab that perfect little book tote. Oh, look at this beautiful knit blanket. Very Barbie. <laughs> Obviously super pink. Let's see if there's any like tags. I feel like this is actually homemade and it's a pretty decent size. The bins also only charges probably like $2 for the whole blanket instead of it being weighed. So I'm gonna grab that. And looky here, here's a Barbie sweatshirt to go with my Barbie blanket. 
We've got a little disc off disc here. The one of the beast. Definitely gonna pick that up. These cool shoes here. With owls on it. They're Brooks Brothers. Women's seven and a half. Kelly, what do you think about these? They're Is Brooks it? Brothers shoes, women's seven and a half, but they have oh. little metal like owls on the toes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Let me get that. Somebody just put back this Polo Sport Ralph Lauren crew neck because they cut the neck out of it. Some girl probably cut it to make it a cool, like stylish off the neck, off the shoulder type thing. But I mean, other than that, it is in good shape. I just hate that the neck is missing. I think it is vintage, yeah. Maybe we'll take a chance on it. It's only gonna be like a buck or two. Oh, this is a polo with Florin, new with tags. Sit, just sitting here. Wow, 2XL? Yes, please. And here's another beer Bradley. Only just like a little bit of staining on the handle, but we'll wash it, see if it comes out. It's cool. That's cool, little Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse pancake kit. I'm sure the mix is expired, but it's a cool item. Haley and I always like to go through our stuff before we check out, well, just to make sure we're not. You say that we used to not go through our stuff. We are getting better. About we're trying. Going we're our trying stuff. to improve, uh, avoiding buying things that later just we discover that are worthless. Yes. So so far, this is like the yes pile. We put a couple things back. I think people are starting to go through it over there. I finally figured out this Tyco test dummy. He was upside down earlier. He's from 1992 though, so I think this one might be pretty good. We've only gotten. Have you gotten any plush? No, I'll, I only have three plus plush. today. We got the Pua, the Dummy, and a little Simba here. So those will be a dollar for all those. Um, I think all this is good to go. The pancake mix in the Mickey waffle is definitely expired, but I think you're gonna buy it more for the Mickey instead of the pancake mix. Oh. What are you looking at? What's what's oh? Okay, well I just, I saw one was listed for 65, but there's a 39, there's a 49 right there. Right there. That's pretty good. So we're gonna pay 25. 33 cents for that roughly yeah. and maybe get As worst case scenario 25. 30 bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, backpack. yeah backpack. I got mostly lots of your Bradleys as yeah. usual. We had this hat earlier. I don't know. It says NBA, so it's a pro sports. I don't know if that's the Bucks. Milwaukee? Is that Milwaukee Bucks? I don't know. Child the office. True Farms. Here, let's, let's a lot of cool stuff this. today. Oh, there's another plush over here. So now our plush cost has reduced to 25 cents per plush. See if I can add any more plush to our plush pile since since we've already established a plush bag, we can add whatever we want to it for free. Check it out. I was gonna get this unicorn, but then underneath it we got a Cartman. He is on the official South Park tag. I don't know if he's vintage or not. No, 2022, so not old at all, but Cartman is a recognizable character. Should have no problem getting at least five bucks or so for him. Check it out, somebody just put this back. Feels like, feels like it works. It's a wired Xbox, oh, it's missing the dongle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he's mine, I just put him here to, um, oh, yeah, good yeah. No, you're good. I think I'm gonna get this. We might have a dongle sitting around the warehouse somewhere. As long as this works, this is probably an easy 60 bucks or so plus shipping. Shipping on these is a little bit tougher because they don't break away like the other ones, but shouldn't be too bad. I'll grab it. Plus, that's all regular stuff. Oh, you double bagged it so you don't weigh the bag. Very smart. That's all regular stuff. Plush, blanket, and then a little electronic to add to it. $88.16, all right. Thank you, Maggie. We appreciate you. Okay, next stop, we are at our little antique mall booth thing. Vendor mall. mall. Not antiques. There's <laughs> not a single antique. And every time I say antique mall, you guys lose your minds in the comments. It's a, okay, it's vendor, a mall. vendor marketplace. I'm sorry. But I, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what you guys have seen, but since the last time we've been in here, as of now, they have changed the whole building into a mall. So now there's like a hundred booths. There's no more liquidation side and half and half. It's all the mall. So it's really cool. A lot of vendors. We'll maybe do a little walk around today yeah. and show you all the new stuff. We also found out that you can we can use like our credit that we've yeah. from our booth to buy other things. So use, instead of getting cashed out every month, we could just buy stuff, which I'm kind of tempted to We're do. Tempted there's to do that. Yes. Think We're also the candy we can buy. <laughs> We're also dropping off this. I don't know if you guys remember this. This like gorilla bow thing. We picked it up in Florida for $3 and we don't want to ship it. So we're going to go throw it in here and also check the gumball machine. The booth is 
looking okay, but it's also looking a little empty. We've sold a couple things on that shelf back there. I think a thing right there. We sold um, the milk crate table thing. Like yes. little, the milk jug with the wooden top. We sold that. You can fit more stuff over here. Yeah, just needs, I don't know whose this is. A broken motorcycle. Oops, that's not our thing. So we'll get everything organized, but first let's get the gumball machine checked out. Looks like we've sold a good number of gumballs, a lot of toys, and some runs. How long has it been since we checked this? Like um, It's been a while. We've been here recently, but then we didn't have the keys. I think it's been like three weeks. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> look at that. It's pretty good. It is really good. I kind of thought it'd be more, but... Well, look, like, we can sell a lot of runs. Yeah. I don't remember how full that was. So let's see, $17.25. If you guys don't know, we're trying to track our profitability with this gumball machine with a little poster that I made in our warehouse. And here's what it looks like before today's haul of $17.25. And here's what it looks like after. And once it's all filled up, we will be officially at our break even point. So I was going to show you guys around the different booths, but Haley has already been shopping. You found something? I have been shopping. Look, okay, this is only $15. It's a North Face men's large, full zip, and it's got a really cool hit down the side. Yeah, and a big patch. Yeah. Cool. Maybe I keep. I thought it was worth it. Yeah, it was your size too. And I've been looking for a bathroom trash can. We literally went to Home Goods two days ago, and Haley was like, "I wish I had a trash. Like, they had a trash can like this big, like wicker, and just simple." And then you come in here and find it. Perfect. Ten bucks. Nice. So let's uh, show you. This is like a whole. This whole section back here is all new stuff. So we have people selling some like cute little house decor and some jewelry and china and this is a really cool booth i think this is the booth Haley got the north face from this lady has a bunch of really nice clothes she's got this like just good brands like cool kavu bag 25 bucks an on cloud backpack for 30. she has these um brooks down here literally brand brand new like never use brooks they are kind of expensive like 50 bucks but i mean they probably retail for 100. so really cool stuff really good brands i think she will do very well. She's got yeah, some Starbucks tumblers over here for ten bucks a piece, cheaper than ours. We have one Starbucks tumbler and it's like fourteen dollars. So the more the the more vendors we get here, the more like competition, and I think that'll make the store overall really good. Like we have a new freeze dried candy person, uh, and he has a much larger selection of candy than the other lady and uh, cheaper. So I don't know how this is gonna work for her, but this is his booth here. Very nice selection. I think he'll do really well. I think Haley has found something else. This. Is this a Kenner? I think it is. Uh, no. It looks like a Kenner figure. I don't know if it is. I don't know. Is Look it? how cool that is. It's Disney. I don't see it. I don't think it yeah, is. It is Disney, so I don't think it's old, but that's well. really big. He had a Boba Yeah, he's got the this Boba Fett up there. I almost got it yesterday the other day. Again, not vintage, but really cool. I think this one's twenty five bucks. Wow. Really cool toys. We have several new vendors that sell toys. I really like that. Oh, he's got little Hot Wheels that are like individually packaged in little bags. Nice. That's such a cool way to like present loose Hot Wheels. Yes. So when you walk into the store, this is like the first one you see. And then there's two rows over there with the wall. There's the video game section up here. And then it goes all the way there. And our booth is in the very back corner back there. So it's just a lot of stuff in here to choose from. I think our biggest issue now is like some of the excitement for the booth has worn off on us so it's just harder to like set aside time to come here and like you know take the time to clean stuff and price it and put it in here and make sure the booth is looking good. We used to come you know two or three days a week and now we're coming once a week if we're lucky so we just need to be more intentional with the time to put into the booth because all these other people's booths look way way better than ours at the moment but uh we'll we'll try to fix that in the next couple weeks we also came into our mall like uh, early last week or so and we found this bag of star wars legos it was 125 dollars, but as you can see it was a pretty large bag and there were a ton of minifigures in there that we could see on the surface probably 20 25 minifigures uh, and no telling what's like on the inside of the bag so we actually did decide to take a risk on this to see if we could make some money okay i'm gonna open this we're gonna see how many actual like let go mini figures we have in here and just check out all the pieces. See if we have anything that's actually worth some money. In here. So obviously we have a ton of pieces here and it's very unclear what they actually go to, but I can tell that all of them are actual Star Wars Legos. I have a lot of 
different little pieces that are like put together, which clearly look like some Star Wars figures. Like this looks like an AT-AT walker, that kind of thing. We've got some cockpits. This, this one over here kind of looks like it's one of the ones from like the Phantom Menace, something like that. Lots of different things going on, lots of different pieces, but I have found actual 40 minifigures in this bag, which is really crazy. I didn't think there was gonna be that many, and I'm pretty sure we could definitely get all of our money back just from those figures. I mean, if we get a couple bucks each, we're in the profit. So if I did all the math correctly, after everything we bought and sold in today's video, our current house budget should be $4,414.57, which is a great stopping point. Uh, we actually went to the flip house today and the tile guy has started the shower, but hasn't finished it yet. I don't wanna show you guys the shower until it's actually finished. So hopefully we'll have that done uh, by the next video, this Thursday's upload. So super excited to show you guys that. Also, we are gonna be doing a whatnot show this week with some house budget items, including the Star Wars Lego minifigures and all the other Star Wars pieces that we got in that bag. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, tune into that whatnot show this date and time on the screen here. And if you sign up for whatnot as a new user with the link in the description of the video, you do get $15 off your first purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Sorry if I was all over the place. Really appreciate you guys again. Thanks again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one.